Hi, for today's project I'm going to use pattern paper and a lot of natural materials. I'm starting by trimming a piece of chipboard to 7 by 7 inches. The pattern paper pad I'll be using is Naval Treaty by the Polish producer UHK Gallery. It's a vintage nautical set. I will trim one of the papers to 7 by 7 inches just like I did with the chipboard. I have die cut the Grand Madison arched window by poppy stamps three times and uh, I will glue these uh, three die cuts one on top of another to get a dimensional piece. For the focal image I have chosen this lighthouse picture that is just the right size for my window. So I am going to trim it and stick it at the back. I'm going to create a curtain out of vellum. So first I'm going over it with an antistatic pad and then I'll be stamping this butterfly, it's by Graphic 45, to create the lacy pattern. The embossing powder is uh, White Pearl by Wow. If you are interested in the products and tools I am using, I have them all listed on my blog, just click on the link below the video in the description bar. I'm going to set up the grommets, these ones come uh, with the case for a big bite too. First I'm tracing them and uh, then I'll be cutting out the holes. I have also decided to give a curtain a stitched scalloped edge. To set up the grommet I'm pressing the tiny legs with the acrylic block. For the curtain rod I'm recycling a lollipop stick. The tricky part is that the vellum is going to break if I try to shape it, so I'm going to dip it in the water for about a minute and then it will be bendable. I'm going to let it air dry. When the vellum is dry it becomes stiff again. Next I'm going to take some gesso and uh, thin it with water to paint the pieces of rotten wood. I'm adding a lot of water because I don't uh, really want the wood to look painted, I want it to look sun bleached. Because the wood is really weathered and porous, it takes up water just like a sponge. Now I'm sticking the pattern paper on top of chipboard with a double-sided tape.
I will be attaching the pieces of wood with the hot glue to create a frame. These two beads and two small nails are going to be attached to the lollipop stick to look exactly like a curtain rod. Then I'm just adhering it to the base. To attach the window I'm using some mounting tape. Some seashells will go to the corner of the frame. Now I'm going to cut out some images from the same pattern paper pad as well as the sentiment. I'm going over the edges with a paper distressor and then I'm going to arrange all the elements on top of the wood frame. I like how the images blend with the old wood frame. Later on I decided to add some more cutouts as well as some real rocks. Please check up the photos at the end of the video. And here are the close-ups of the finished project. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like to watch more videos, here are some other tutorials, a tag and a shadow box. Simply click on the picture to watch. Have a beautiful day! Bye!